Oh, hi, hello. Welcome back to episode three of Commander, our Elite Dangerous RPG show, Shenanigan Fest. Um, now, the commanders are... Commanders, the nearly commanders, the pilots, are on the tail of a... Also, well, on the tail, searching for a, uh, a another uh, commander who hasn't been seen for a while. And they have arrived at Hutton Orbital looking for clues. Jackson and Ellie. It is your turn. Hey. Yeah. Hey. Oh no no sorry not Jackson and Ellie. Uh, you 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 we we did you last didn't we? <laughs> oh yes <laughs> we did. Sorry sorry. Yes. Although we didn't have yeah Ma we did Mara, have yeah Mara and Saskia. Brain. Hi y'all. Um. <laughs> it's your turn. Um. Now, um, remind me where exactly you were going. Um, Heading to the trading center place to specifically ask about the mug initiative and if they gotcha. have a record of ah, who yes. took part. And as we're on our way there, again, I'm like nudging Saskia with my elbow and I'm like, do you think he really went on the initiative or do you think that that was just kind of a cover up? So I've gone full conspiracy now. There's no <laughs> way it was just for this. No way. Can't be. Not someone <laughs> of that stature. Not someone with that kind of chip under his power. No, I don't on. think it makes sense. Something else is going on here, and we are, we are going to get to the bottom of it. If it was all some innocent thing and a lost ship and a little bit of cargo, a lady like her, with with her resources, would need to come to anonymous us to do it. This this thing. You're speaks. right. Yeah, as Ellie's dad would say, something smells. Well, it was a long flight. I, I do apologize. No, not you, not you. <laughs> oh. I see, I see, I see. The situation smells. Something's not right. Okay, so, um. You get down to the cargo processing levels, um, and they have a facility for producing the mugs on the station. Um, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a locally produced good, uh, quite literally in this case, and it's surprisingly small, actually, uh, in terms of how much space it takes up. The, um, the, the production facility itself is a few medium-sized rooms. The storage facility is, is like right next to the cargo hold. You can see like there's some some taped um, sections where all of the cargo, uh, cargo, all of the materials for producing the mugs is stored. Uh, it's, it's about half empty. Um, it looks thoroughly well used. And uh, similarly to um, Ellie and Jackson, you have to walk up a wall that then turns into the floor in order to get to, to, to where you're going from the promenade, you know, you just sort of walk along the corridor and the, the floor just curves upwards and you just keep walking and your mag boots keep sticking to you and then suddenly you're in a corridor again and your sense of up is now completely changed. Uh, but anyway, you get to um, you get to the uh, facility itself and um there's not too many people around. Uh, there's, um, there's, a, there's a couple of workers uh, there. They're uh, in flight suits, overalls, that kind of thing. Uh, and a... A... Uh, uh, where is she? There she is. Ah! Yes, a... A, a young lady. Um sort of pokes her head up over the top of some of the uh, some of the machinery there and hello hello can I help you Are you here for a tour hello. hi hi not a tour oh why not I mean it's not really why we're here uh... that's a good reason uh what can I help you with then and she, she sort of stows the machine she's working on, um, gets, gets like, uh, 
an empty sort of press thing. It looks like, you know, sort of half vacuum form, half stamp, like the, the, the mug, um, you know, cylinder itself. And she stows that away and turns her full attention to you. Um, so yeah, she's, um, she's really tall. <laughs> really tall, like, uh, I don't know, six foot five, I think that is. About 190, uh, 190 centimeters. And Mara's doing um, this. <laughs> yeah, she, she's, she's mega, mega tall. Uh, fair hair, um, fair skin, uh, and brown eyes. And, you know, it so, sort of just seems really chipper. He's having a great day, it seems. Oh, how can I help you? Well, yeah, what's, uh, what's up? Am I able to use insight at all to see if she, if she minds the interruption or... Uh, yeah. What, 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 info, what info are you after first? Um, is she being professionally, uh, extroverted or is she actually extroverted and happy to chat to people? So how professional do I need to keep it? Ah. Okay, yeah, let's let's have a roll. Ooh, let's re-roll that, please. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Hey. Bit of both, uh, honestly. It seems like the sort of extroverted kind of person, as well as being um, probably the impromptu tour guide. It, it, this this looks a bit like a, a like a cottage industry almost, you know, tucked away in this corner of the station. Um, whoever happens to be working at the time is probably the person that does like tours and questions and all of that sort of stuff. Um, so, uh, yeah, over to you. Yes, hello there. Uh, yes, my name is uh, Saskia, and uh, th this is Mara here. Oh, and, pleasure uh, to meet you, Saskia. Yes, yeah, Saskia and, and Mara, my, my Mara, hi. lovely hi. friend. She, she, and, uh, she sort of cranes, cranes downwards at you. <laughs> She's got this big grin on her face. She, lo she, looks, um, she looks really chipper today. Right, what should we refer to you, Supervisor? Oh, no, God, I'm not a supervisor. Just, just call me Isis. Isis. Oh, lovely name. And, uh, Thank well, you. Yeah. Yes, yes. So, uh, we, are, we are not here just as tourists, though it is uh, interesting to see a place with a little bit of history uh, attached to it. I hear there was a quite a to-do a few years ago for this place. Oh, goodness, yeah. There was, we had a big... Um, it was one, one of the first, like, real Pilots Federation initiatives that we had. Um, the truckers who I work for now, they... They, uh, they were, they were like, yeah, let's start here. Why not? You know, because mm. it's, I don't know, the middle of bloody nowhere. So, and then they were like, you know, we should, we should do some souvenirs because people come all this way uh, and we've got nothing to give them. And so they, they did the mug thing and we needed like, oh God, how many, like uh, a couple of thousand tons of just scrap metal and ceramics and all, all kinds. So we put out a big purchase order for all of that and got got a ton of Pilots Federation commanders in on, on, on it. And uh, uh, yeah, I started like, I think it was about six months after that, you know, mm. with a, with like the, the first few batches of mugs. Oh, you've been here quite a while then. Oh, yeah, about two years or something. Fantastic. I think. Yeah, no, it's it's kind of uh, related to that initiative. I want to come and speak to you today. Now, you see, um, oh, right, uh, right. a contact of ours was involved in it, uh, but the last we heard of him, he was on his way here, uh, but then he, he seems to have uh, disappeared off. And we were oh, crikey. To see if we could That's follow the, the trail uh... and uh, find where he went. So, I was wondering if there might be any records down here of any deliveries oh, he might yeah, have made got some, to Oh, well, some records somewhere. I'll have, I'll have to ask Bob. Bob will know where he is. Uh, yeah, let's, let's have a look. Okay, so. Diplomacy, I presume. I'm very bad at it, just to say. 
I mean, I'd love to <laughs> flirt with the tall lady, but um, I'm ooh, a, okay, a charm man. Mug, uh, charm. Ooh, how are you flirting with uh, with Isis? <sighs> that that's a very good question. <laughs> <laughs> um, where's my? Oh, my dice has gone AWOL. That's not helpful. All right, I'll pick a. We'll have a green one. I was using the white one earlier. So. I'm bad at flirting in real life, so this is incredibly <laughs> hard. This is what role playing is all about. Yep, absolutely. Hmm. You can you can nerd flirt hmm. with her if you like. Oh yeah, I need yeah. to roll something. Okay, so. Ooh, okay. Nerd flirting would be good. So. Uh, yeah. So, so you do tours as well. Would you, would you have time later for a, for a personal tour? And I'd like to learn about the mugs, but also the uh, quite impressive people behind them. Okay. Let's have the let's have the roll. Oh, that's gonna sting. <laughs> oh, I mean, I'm flattered, but I've I've already got a fellow. I'm sorry. She, you can see her go beetroot red um, oh. and uh, well, you can't fault her for trying <laughs> well I mean I think, I think oh. and she, she sort of runs her hand through her hair a few times and stumbles over her words and the, the redness doesn't doesn't subside but, uh, uh, yeah so so not to worry, but about those those records and um... yeah, I'll uh, wait, wait. I'll go get Bob. Uh, I have uh, yeah, and she scarpers off. <laughs> that that could have gone well, better. Oh, I mean, to be fair, I had much the same experience with the engineer. I it, it didn't go very well for me. <laughs> you know, there'll be someone out there. There'll be someone. <laughs> Just not any mug-related people, I guess. No. Okay. I mean, one day we'll get better at maybe chatting them up, but <laughs> today is not that day. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, so um, I'll have a perception test from you both as well, please. Uh oh All right, that, that was a four, wasn't it? <laughs> Ooh. Uh. That was... And a set. Oh God! That was so a perception. Let me just also see rolling, Mara. Would you like to try your persuasion as well, if possible? Uh, wait. And she's back. Oh, you want? Yeah, okay. I can give it a try. I can't make any promises that it's going to go much better. Hmm. She, uh, she sort of, Isis sort of slinks back. Um, she's she disengaged her her grav boots um, and sort of just floated through at a reasonable speed and sort of reconnects with the um, surface. Uh, where's my? We'll, we'll swap on to this one. Um, re reconnects to the to the the quote unquote floor. Not not that there's really an up. But you know, there's there's definitely a definitely a surface that is more designed to be walked on with mag boots than it is to be, you know, stowed away with things or things secured to it. Um, right, Bob's uh, Bob Bob's not in. Um, do you do you do you need uh, do you know what the do you know what the person's a uh, per person's name is. Uh, yes, his name is Leonard Armitage. Ar <laughs> Words are hard, apparently. <laughs> um, <laughs> let me try that again. Yeah, no worries. His name is Leonard Armager. All oh, right. Okay. Uh, if yeah, you can even find a record here. of if he yeah, no, made no, it here. Will... Uh, yeah. yeah, yeah we, well, we've got. Um, yeah, we've got. We've got the you know, cheap, cheap produces it like an actual paperback it's like a, a big folder a paperback book yeah uh this this was the original record 
Uh, I figured this it's a, it'll take a bit of time to look look through, uh, but you, you, okay, let's... And she starts flipping through. Um, uh, give me your persuasion. I'm going to use diplomacy, because the flirting didn't do so well. Oh, yeah, so... yeah, diplomacy, sorry. Diplomacy. Boom. Okay. Uh, I'll also, just to see how well we do here, uh, oh man, what's a decent one for this? Uh, I guess I'll have another per uh, perception roll from you, Mara. Um, oh man, yeah, okay, so this isn't going to take too long at all. Um, and as, as she's flipping through, you can see she's getting a bit lost. Uh, she's still red in the face and mm -hmm. having a bit of a bad time about it. But you can see, you can start to make out, like, the, the system that they've used. It's not just, like, alphabetically sorted. Um, they have sorted it by ship type, ship capacity, uh, and um, the ship's ID number as well. Um... Okay, so I have I have an uh, ship ID if that would help. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, if it, what's 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 the ID? What's the ID? Alpha Sierra two nine Charlie. Oh God, I'm all right. Okay, yeah, I'm in completely. She, she flips, she flips through like half the book and goes into a different location entirely. Uh oh oh no, here we go, here we go. Yeah, he delivered like oh I don't know. Oh no. no. Yeah, 420 tons he delivered. Wow. He was in a, uh... Yeah, he was in a Type 6 at the time. Yeah, in his Type 6. Type he, six? No, he came here once in a courier, and then there was a Type 6 afterwards. Hmm. hmm. Both of the same registration. No, no. Um, you, you, I, he, she shows you the, shows you the book. Um, and it, the, the, the initial registration is the courier, and then there's the, uh, there's the Type 6 as well. Um, and that, uh, that has a different registration number. It is Alfa Romeo 1523. That is incredibly helpful. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, yeah, you're most welcome. Yeah, he... Yeah, he uh, he got a fat payout. Look at how much money he earned from this. As a you know, it's like six figures or something like that uh, payout that he he'd gotten. Uh, yeah, when when the pilots' federation do these initiatives, yeah, they they subsidise like the rewards and stuff. So um, so yeah, we we chip in as much as we can, and they're like, yeah, we'll just add another zero to that, because you know that's what they do. Maybe I'm in the wrong line, wrong line of work. Uh, was there a date attached to that Type 6 delivery, by the way? Oh, there, there are several. Look, there you got these ones, these ones. This is all, like, uh, September 3301-ish. I think there's one here for August as well, somewhere. Hmm. So, yeah, okay. she, gives you, she gives you the full details. So I'm already typing the uh, number into our group chat and sending mm. it over to uh, Ellie and Jackson so that they have that to check the flight records yeah. for that ship as well. Mm -hmm. And um... also, of course, adding some random emojis. <laughs> At this yep. point, I'm just doing it to mess with Jackson because I feel like he didn't know what the code was, so now he really doesn't know what the code is. <laughs> um... Okay, and there. Oh, where is that? There you are. Um, yeah. Um, are you gonna wrap up here and then meet up with the with the others? Uh, I I don't have anything more to ask, so I'd probably hang back at that point. Okay. And do you know if anyone was working here at the time who might have uh, run into them? Because I know you came a little bit later. Oh, uh, well, yeah. Um, Bob would be great if he was about, but I think he's gone for lunch or maybe he's just gone and had a nap. He does that sometimes. Um, and, uh, well, I guess, like, you know, ops. We've got, uh, ever, ever since the, the truckers 
took over the station from the from the previous owners. Not that it's really a station most people come in to visit often, you know. Um, they they've they've been here pretty much the whole time. They run the radio station from up there as well. You should, you should tune in. But some some we, so you, the music the music's usually pretty good. Sometimes they have some right crap on there though. I'm not not, ter- not terribly keen on the boppy poppy nonsense, you know. Boppy, poppy, intriguing. Yeah. Uh, Hey, anyway, it's been it's been nice to see you both. I've got to get back to to work. I, it, it, uh, yeah, it, it, corridor and then like up the wall and and it, it'll take you back. I, she goes, I bro- she goes reach out and red take again. Saskia's sleeve very gently and kind of tug on it. Um, I I think we have to go. Yeah, thank you for your time. You were very helpful. Oh, you're most uh, most most, uh, most welcome. Go, go and buy a mug if you've not bought one already. I, you know, the, the last I wave my mug I've at her. Done. I've got one. Oh, nice. I've got three, but you know, I make them. <laughs> anyway, uh, uh, yeah, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta go back to work. But Thanks thank you for all your help. By. Thank you. Uh, see if you can't find Bob. Does Bob have a last name, by the way? Well, I mean, probably, but I don't know. I just, I've only ever called him Bob. <laughs> Fair enough, I said. So, well, thanks again for your time. Thank you. She scurries back off, really embarrassed. <laughs> she's, she's, yeah, she is the the sort of smiling sweat emoji right now, with the with the blue cheeks. Um, and uh, yeah. All right, can we? head back towards where we originally were chatting to uh, mm. the whole group, knowing that yeah, they probably that weren't be, there. Yeah, but... that would be promenade-ish. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. Um, so, uh, yes, um, Ellie Jackson, um, you managed to get a few flight records. Um, and once you've once you've got those, you get the message from Saskia and Mara. <laughs> I love her use of the toilet emoji. Um, <laughs> um, this, this is some kind of code I don't understand. <laughs> oh God. I, don't I know think you're 90. It it's just a toilet emoji. Oh, it's okay. just poop. I mean, right. that oh, okay. Just, okay. Right. Just, okay. I can see that you one. Know, <laughs> you got to look at things from face value sometimes. Oh. Sometimes it's just Mara's doing this to you on purpose, I think. Anyways, mm. <clears throat> uh, we got another ship here we also want to look at. All right. Which one? I don't know. This one. IRL, Lisa was eating. I'm so sorry. No, it's it's okay. fine. It's fine. Um, yeah. So, the uh, really the, the T um, six. I, I can I can I can well imagine that um, getting that info as well is is quick. Once they once they got the first set, they're easily able to furnish you with the with the um, with the previous. Uh, sorry, the the other vessel um, that they used. Um, words. Over to you. Oh, My brain's like, gone blank. <laughs> My brain's gone like completely Looks like made empty. it here. Um, did, yeah, made do it you here have several where... times. How many times? Yeah. Oh, well, like to 12 deliver. plus? There, there, there are several trips to and from. Uh, what about the, um, his ship? Um, yeah, his, his vessel, um, the Korea, docks once under his name. And then the next, like, 12 or 13 jumps in are his Type 6. Huh. And then where was the last voyage going to? Sol. Uh-huh. Dang, so we got a... Can we somehow check the flight it, to know if he got to sell? Not from here, you couldn't. 
Yeah, we need to check the other end. How far is it from here to Seoul? It's literally one system over. It's about four light years. Oh, it's, okay. Yeah, I was it's, thinking it's, we it's were... It's the system yeah. where Earth is. Sorry, I'm bad with maps and galaxies. <laughs> that's that's all just, good. It's all good. I just engines, you know. <laughs> I'm a simple lady with simple wants and simple needs, and they're mostly engine and coffee related. Yeah, you just jump next door. Oh, okay, sweet. Well, we can just go there, look to be split. Wait. All right, well, thank you so much for your help. You've been, hey, can I say, can I say, you've been great. Oh, we'll see you later. Oh, well, thank you, and thank you for not causing any havoc. Well, I mean, not that you had cause for causing us, you know, havoc. You didn't, you didn't damage the station. Anyway, uh, we'll have to ask you to leave because this is technically a sensitive area. It's the control center for the ship, uh, ship, station. So, um, thank you very much. I've got to get back to my posting. Uh, if you've not tried it already, try some of the barbecue in the promenade. Mm. Uh, and uh, thank you for thank you for popping in and, and being, I don't know, decent pilots for a change. We usually have to deal with absolute... F anyway. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, no. Don't mention it, sir. You I have to ask you help. if... I... I have to ask you if I can leave. Bye. And then Ellie just heads out. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Um, so, yeah. Uh, you get that info. Now, uh, Souls, you, you probably wouldn't know this, Ellie, but Jackson would 100% know this. Sol is a permit lock system. You have to have um, clearance from the... Um, now, this is separate from the Pilots' Federation. This is the THE Federation, the Federation of Earth, um, which is one of the galactic superpowers in order to visit Sol. Um, to do that, you have to do missions and stuff for them ordinarily uh, to, you know, gain up in their standing and ranking or uh, catch a bus. Uh, as civilians, um, technically you could do that, but Jackson has a rank. Yes. Mm hmm So, Jackson, is this going to make it easier or harder for us to get in? Hmm, well... Seoul being the capital of the Federation, they don't let just anybody in there. Um, however, since I have served in the Navy, um, I, inherit, I still inherit a rank and... Um, that would allow me to get in there. So, so could they, we? They would let me in. Um, and probably could anyone you... that's in the anyone that's accompanying me as well. Would they let you and three of your best friends all on your spaceship in? Absolutely. Well, hot dang! Let's go to the promenade. Let's go back to see what. Uh, um. Um, yeah. and then uh, and and then uh, Ellie uh, Ellie texts uh, texts out to the group sleepover. <laughs> and then. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and then uh, and then starts um, like chalk it over because she's really yes. excited. Let's go. Um. Yeah. Um. I think. Um. As a group, you meet up um, amongst each, you, you know, you bump into each other in one of the corridors in the station. Um, and uh, yeah, that's where you'll that's where you'll find yourselves. Mm. I, before we talk, I'm looking around, getting increasingly paranoid. Okay. Do I see anything weird? Give me perception. That's a five. Um, hang on. <laughs> I don't know. Give me a sec. Oh, roll no, bad, no, roll no. bad. No, you're fine, you're fine. Nothing. Okay. 
her. I imagine at least like above Saskia Amara with, with her mag boots, like essentially walking on the ceiling then. And then yet yeah, like, and then disengages her mag boots and like jumps towards them. It's like, guys, we're gonna have a sleepover. <laughs> and it's just like spiraling down towards them. A sleepover? <clears throat> yeah, we gotta go to Seoul. Oh, but the only Seoul. person. Yeah, we gotta go to Seoul. We gotta go. We'll go get some earth coffee. Anyways, but uh, Jackson's the only one that can get us in unless we all wanted to take the bus. Which uh, I wouldn't mind taking the bus. Yes, our target mm-hmm. appears to have uh, been last seen heading to Seoul. So, right. how 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 many people can we fit in the bigger ship we've got? It's going to be a sleepover. We got to get face masks and chocolate. I'm going to say movie. if we are flying, can we make sure we're not flying in Jackson's ship? Because yeah. I don't feel safe in it. Oh, four yeah, people no. will fit in there anyway. You're, yeah, you're no, that's safe. what I was going to say. That's what I was going to say. I believe my other might be the largest. It might need to be fitted up somewhat to make it comfortable for us all. Hmm. I mean, we could change my cargo or somebody else's cargo hold into a slumber over Wonderland with all the money we got. My power distributor <coughs> can wait. This is a slumber party, y'all. <laughs> let me see if they actually I'm sell. Excited. Oh. Yeah, let me see if they actually sell passenger compartments here. I don't think they do. No. Okay. Can we can we take this conversation somewhere a little less public? Yeah, you want to get. Yeah. Uh, I mean, uh, you want to get a, seen something. I, I just don't think out here is the right place for this, just in case. Yeah, let's. Uh, let's go let's be somewhere a bit more private. A hotel room. We can start the slumber party there. Bring snacks if we're doing that. Yes. I'm gonna go get some noodle balls. We only have to go to the system next door, you know. Yeah, but at least the system next door. But make sure that the compartments are all pressurized and with life support. I wouldn't want to uh, unload three friends of fertilizer when we get there. (laughs) Yeah, Yeah, that would be bad. Ellie looks at Jackson with the most dead serious of looks and gets really close to his face and is like, "We're having." A slumber party, Jackson. You're not going to ruin this for me. That's my first one. We're going to do it. Okay, Ellie, well, uh, we're having a slumber party. Let's do it. That's right. We're having a slumber party. Okay, do it let's style. go. Go do it in style. Let's go. I start moving towards, I guess, I mean, are, are there places that we could, like, rent a brief room to, I guess, uh, yes. stuff? Like a karaoke? Not like like um, <laughs> yeah, there, there would be um, like places to say it would be really basic here. Yeah, it um, needs, as long as it's big enough for us to all stand in the room at the same time, I'm happy. Oh, yeah, I'm like yeah, moving yeah. towards that kind of direction already, hoping that they'll follow. Mm. So, question on the numbers for the GM on the yes. other. Uh, so I've not looked through all of the rules that are looking at the... Oh, say again, sorry. Uh, Saskia, your mic is doing you a disservice oh. again. Testing. One, two. Hello. Oh, no, you're, you're fine, you're fine. It's just the directionality of it. Uh, yeah, so it mentions crew one or two, passengers one. Is that in addition to the pilot, or is the crew uh, pilot part of the crew? Um, you can have one extra crew member, and your vessel is probably capable of supporting uh, two extra people safely um, for a couple of jumps. Um, combat would be hairy, because there wouldn't be anywhere proper for them to be secured down, but you've got your own quarters that has some measure of inertial dampening um, that will stop anyone, you know, any 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 chums from um, getting thrown around too much. Fantastic. So yes, Fantastic. you can fit all four of you reasonably safely on your ship. Oh. Wait so, a yes, second. The... Yeah. 
What if we uh, No, we I'll I'll wait to ask my question. I'll wait, I'll wait until we're in the room. Okay, yeah. Uh, so right. yeah, I'll, I'll just get, get, give you some fluff. The corridor you're in, you know, walking down at the moment, it's reasonably wide, um, although pretty empty because you're in like one of the cargo sections of the vessel at the uh, vessel station at the moment, um, and you know, about hundred meters long, um, fairly well illuminated, and uh, yeah, pretty quiet. Oh, actually, I've still got the crowd, the crowd ambience going. I want that. All right, close up. There we go. I, while we're walking down the corridor, I'll kind of like shake my hands out like this. Yep. And then I take off at a sprint down the corridor. Okay. Which direction are you going? Towards Towards the the rooms. Okay. That's the direction I highlighted to you. Yes. Is that deliberate? Oh, okay. Oh, I like this. All right. Cool. Ooh, <laughs> interesting. Um, why? What, I is, what stop, is your aim? I stop at uh, a couple people who I've spotted down the corridor, and yep. I say, can I help you? <laughs> um, right, so these, these two people that you've, um, you've uh, come up to here, are legitimately shocked that you have approached them. Um, one of them had tripped over uh, and face planted into one of the doors. That's, that's what the sound was that you heard a little earlier. Um, and they, um, yeah, they they say, I need to change the music for that section. No, it's not that one. There. Okay, so. And, uh, yeah. They are two gentlemen, um, middle-aged, uh, wearing, um... Oh, hello. Ambience, please. Thank you. And that yes, they are wearing um colour are they wearing? Red. Uh dark red, um, you know, sort of uh suits. Um is obviously armoured. And they say Yeah, we would like a chat, if you're willing. It depends on what it's about. Hmm. We're looking for someone. Okay. A uh, wanted person. We uh, have a suspicion that uh, you might be looking for the same person. All right. And what? What do you want to do about that? Well, depends on how cooperative you want to be. My name is Agent Johnson. This is Agent Johnson, no relation. We are federal investigations. And we're looking for a, uh, a commander. The last seen through these parts a couple of years ago. So you, everyone else, you will um, be about, I think, 50 meters away. And I will have a perception test from all of you, please. DC eight. Ooh. Well, I was gonna say when uh, Ellie oh. sees Ooh, when nice. Ellie sees um uh Mara take off. Um, Ellie's like, oh, we're printing spring towards the slumber party, and <laughs> um and so and, and so she takes off. She takes off like right behind Mara. Yeah. Um, ish, ish. Yeah. yeah, but yeah, yeah. You'll, probably, you'll be you're running, running, running forwards as well. Okay, that's cool. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I probably won't hear anything, but you know, because no. I'm just thinking. So uh, much ha- yeah. However, um, Saskia and Jackson, you can hear this just fine over 
well, I say just fine. It's a bit difficult to make out over the racket, and especially the tannoy going off it occasionally as well. Um, but yeah, you can you can make this out. Jackson, beds. Yep. Oh, sorry, no offense. <laughs> yeah, it, yes it is. This um this is getting uh dicier by the moment. Why I suggest we here? quicken our pace. Mm-hmm. Not rushing, but quickening, and uh keeping an eye out as well. Okay. So um yeah, Mara. A reply? What exactly does cooperation from us look like? Well, we have a talk and you give us all the information we want to know. That doesn't really sound like it benefits me all that much, to be honest. It means you don't get arrested and thrown in the slammer. For doing what, exactly? Aiding and abetting a wanted man. It, I literally know nothing about what you're talking about. You haven't even told me his name. Oh, you completely broke my character just then. Thank you. <laughs> um, but, um, but yeah, the uh, Commander Armager. That sounds like a silly uh, name. Heck of a bounty on his head. And the Federal Investigation Bureau would like to cash it in. Especially because he is a dangerous person. I have no idea what you think I know. Ellie, you I come up at this point. I don't know him. Hey, y'all, you gonna be at the slumber party? They are absolutely not going to be at the slumber party, Ellie. No slumber party for these folks. Okay, who are you? What are you doing? Why are you harassing my friend? She is nice. Why does your friend need arresting? We know who you are, by the way. Mara, what Rocket, is? Rocket Murphy, Ellie Bacon. I'm a pretty good I'm... racer, and my friend here is a pretty good mechanic, so it's not really surprising that you know who we are. I mean, I am quite famous. My dad was in the military. Okay, so uh, I will have a social role from the two of you. Uh, either, uh, as a combined role, I think. I'm wanting to say bluff. Yeah, I feel um, I felt like you were gonna say bluff. I really want yeah. to use streetwise. <laughs> ooh, ooh. I feel uh, like she's me, doing the bluster me, thing. Yeah, roll me. Roll me a streetwise anyway. Okay. Yeah. Everything I'm gonna do is just gonna be assisting yeah, Mara. Yeah, okay, so what's your relationship with Mara, Ellie? Um, Plus one? Yeah. Okay, so, okay. Uh, Plus then, one going yeah. both ways, I think. Yeah. Yeah, so let's have a um, plus three. Well, actually, I'll say, instead of, instead of saying, like, plus three, I'll just adjust the DC for you. Uh, so, yeah, I'll have a DC six bluff. So we're after... A bluff. That was a four, by the way, that um, Psyche rolled for Mara's streetwise there. Unfortunately, the street the street wisdoms don't cover federal investigations. Dang, they should. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so yeah, DC DC six, um, and that's with Ellie's help. Ooh. Nice. Listen, Missy, you got a mighty motor mouth that's gonna get you into trouble one of these days if you ain't careful. That's probably true. Not the first time I've yeah. been told that, in fact. Johnson. Yeah. You're, you're, Johnson, the, the other guy, gives his colleague a slap around the shoulder. Johnson! Fine. We're done here. 
they have a nice turn day. Um, the other Johnson, uh, the taller of the two, stops whilst his colleague storms off. Clearly, very miffed with you. <laughs> If you get any information on the man, please do let us know. Do you have a car man the or something? Yes. Here it is. Digs out a uh, it's it's like it's like a uh, like a metal doofer mm -hmm. thing, and um, when you when you press like the the activation button, a sort of hologram pops up um, with with Agent Johnson's contact information, his ID number, and all of that stuff. All right. Nice okay, place. sweet. Thanks. I'll keep that in mind. Thank you very much. And turns around and disappears off as well. Uh, Saskia Jackson, you two both mm -hmm. come 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 up at about this point as well. Um, just as just as taller Johnson takes a few steps backwards, looking at you all, and turns around mm -hmm. and. And walks after his his colleague. I'll have an insight check from Mara, please. Okay. Um, I think as this guy oh, yeah. is going off. Johnson oh, go number one is clearly super pissed. <laughs> he thought his shtick was gonna was gonna work on the minuscule little racer pilot. Um Taller Johnson is a much cooler cucumber. He uh, he is less phased by the bravado, and you get the impression he probably knows that you're lying, but can't prove it. Okay. Um, so, upon arrival, by the way, we're going to give the lingering agent the eye. Okay. <laughs> give me an intimidation <laughs> check. <laughs> Before. He like pays it no when, mind. Uh, yep. When Daddy. I'm just gonna look at him and be like, "You know anything about pirates around these parts on the way yeah. here?" He's he, he he's he just turned around as you'd said that. He sort of sideways walks and discusses with you. Yeah, that's why we're looking for this man. Tell your friend to give us a call if you find out any information. Um. Okay, so I have a karma ability. Ooh. A liar, a liar. Ooh. And I want to know. I can spend two karma points, and I know, and I get a plus four bonus to determine if somebody is lying to me. Ooh. I like this. Okay, mm. uh, then mm. yeah, let's have uh, let's have your insight or streetwise. I'll let you. I'll let you choose. Uh, insight. Oh, it's my insight bonus. Uh, oh, it's three. Oh. Twenty ten plus three plus four. He's lying through his teeth. Oh. No. All right. Well, you have a. He's out of earshot already. He's. He's, he's, he's out of earshot. I start you, going. Yeah. Mm. You can. You, you can. You just before they, you know, turn the corner. You can. You can see the the short, the slightly shorter of the two Johnsons, like storming away, stamping his feet almost. Um, and Tola Johnson just moses on after him. I'm oh, gonna uh, grab the card from Mara. I was like, can I see that? Mm -hmm. I want to do like a cyber check on it to see if there's oh. like any sort of like tracking microphone or anything else can like I that. Help? And to see, yeah, can I and help to see if I'm I like can... super paranoid. And to uh, see if yeah. I can reverse engineer this thing too, to Ooh. like do okay. the opposite. Ooh. Um. Mm. So there, I think it may be 
two rolls? Yeah, it, um, Mara, uh, it, what's your cyber score? My cyber is terrible, my computer is good, so. Ooh, ooh, okay. In that case, um, Saskia Jackson, are either mm. of you able to assist? Um, I've got 40 cyber. That's pretty good. Cyber, cyber only 50. <laughs> okay, uh, computer. 30 in both. Uh, computer only 10, that's even worse. <laughs> oh, Jackson is not. Jackson um, is not a man. I am the not computers. the best one to be assisting. No. Okay. No. You. I. I wouldn't let you assist with scores that bad. Honestly. <laughs> um, right. A decision. Um, yeah. I'm going to get you to do two roles. One computer. One uh, cyber. Um. So Mara will be able to assist with one. Uh. But. Who's going to roll without assistance, and who's going to roll with Mara's assistance? I would take this, and I would be like, I, I, I would take the card, and I would be like, Hey, Saskia, you want to look at this to see what you can find out for the cyber, because Saskia has the si higher cyber. Yeah. What are you saying exactly? Hey, Saskia, I just got a quick uh, thing that, um, engineering thing that you can, can you take a look at this thing? And then not saying any keywords, <laughs> just I'm like, so just lovely. like, I'm yeah. So okay, right. Mara, are you helping with the cyber or the computer? I'll help with computer. Okay. Okay, Saskia, you're on your own for the cyber. Okie dokie. Ooh. There we go. And let's have the cyber roll. The computer so roll? The cyber. Oh, well, that, sorry. The, right, hang on. Not the wrong way around. I need to cross that out and write it. Okay. And let's have the computer roll. So this it will be with Mara's assistance. Um, I will um, reduce any... PCs. My mod is three. My mod, mod is, is also three. Yeah. So, who wants to roll? Who wants to help? I can help. I don't mind helping. Okay, I'll roll. Okay. Um, yep. Yeah. Alright, so that's, that's the computer one. And that's the cyber one. So yeah, these these identification card things are fairly common. Um, the um, you know they're made out of stainless steel, um, specifically so they're magnetic, so you can stick them to stick them to walls and stuff in a zero g environment. Um, and the um, the hologram itself will have uh, computer readable formats that you'd be able to use your. Uh, communicators with to verify that they are legit. Um, so, yes, they are legitimate identification cards. This one is also bugged to hell and back, <laughs> Saskia. It, it's ever so slight that you notice the um, indentation for the antenna. And from that, you can... Um, grab your multi-tool, pry the thing apart, and see all the bugs in the tracking devices. I point at Jackson, and I do this. No, no, no. Why don't send a we message on my take phone a... to the others and say, tune it to Hutton Radio, question mark. Yes. <laughs> Tune it to Hutton. I'm going to send back. Oh. Yes. Also, maybe send it on a trip into space. <laughs> <laughs> yes, 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 yes. Laughing emote. <laughs> okay. <laughs> they think um, we're dumb idiots. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay. It won't take you long to do that, um, Saskia, with a, with a cyber score cyber roll that high. My DC for both was 10. Um, and skin of your teeth, unfortunately, uh, Mara, with the with the six there. 
Um, Sasuke is 12 beating that. Um, but yeah. Um, you uh, you managed to... Are you going to activate the Hutton radio now, or are you going to wait? Let us uh, have it activate as it gets jettisoned. Okay. Um, right, so... Where to next? So, so anyways, I think it, you know from what I from what I could from what I could see, I think he went back to the cube area, the cube system. Uh, so we got to go fly over to cube. Um, you know his home his home base is where is where he went, and um, and so that will be probably good. I think maybe he went to back over there to see Felicity. Um, mm -hmm. So, so I think our target's over there. And all of the information we have points towards him uh, creating a puppy farm and kennel for adoption. So that's where most of the materials for those are. I don't know what you're talking and about. I ain't never heard of no Commander Armager. That's well, my story and I'm sticking things, to it. All that's things considered. Person. All things considered. I do think... We should play some video games. Maybe have some chocolates on our sleepover. I think we should have uh, that slumber party right now. Yeah, yeah, let's go have a slumber party. And let's go to a karaoke room and sing really loud about hotels in California. Hmm. <laughs> What's a California? I think it's a yeah. nebula. It is, in fact, a nebula. <laughs> the California Nebula, it's a, heck, what is it, about 3,000 light years from Earth, I think? That's not that far. Is it not that far? No, oh, I think right, it is actually 3,000 light years. Mm, no, yeah, I think it is. It's about 3,000 light because you've got like the Eagle Nebula and the and the Omega Nebula mm. and the Californian Nebula, and then you've got Coal That Sack must be what the song's sort of named after, the Nebula. You go there, you never leave. That must be what it is. Oh, <laughs> um, mm -hmm. Trash ejection system or something we can go and lob this uh, card in on the way past, ready for it to be ejected uh, and activated, anything yeah, like that. I will for sure have a group stealth roll from you, because I'm assuming you're going to be as sly about this as possible. I mean, the I other do, way is... I do want to... <laughs> I still think we should do this. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that would be fun, too. I do want to... I do really want to annoy these men and have them really regret debugging us. So I really do. Like, I really, really, really want to go into a karaoke room and spend maybe an hour to just sing and really bad. Up to you. Up Ooh. to you. Um, I like that idea. However... Mm -hmm. um, until that thing is activated, it will be for sure recording everything you say. Mm. And how you say it. Alright. And your location. Okay. Have we um, yeah, noted down any passive. information that we want off this card? Um, you could um, you could take a photo of it using your communicator, that's fine. Oh, cool. I was thinking. Alright. Yeah, I kind of determined from it for tracking back to. Yeah. Ooh, give me another cyber roll. I can help. Because once we're done with it, yes, <laughs> you, you can not only like retune it; you can suss out the you can suss out the frequency it's originally tuned to, mostly from a combination of the length of the. Um, the antenna gives you a frequency there. Uh, you can suss out it's using Galnet as a carrier um, because, you know, it's a minuscule little radio transmitter. It's basically running off Bluetooth almost. Um, so by itself, it's going to be useless at transmitting over interstellar distances. So it's going to need to, um, you know, tap into other uh, systems to transmit. Um, it's really, really clever really clever alarmingly clever um mm. how how it goes about doing this you would need like a full console to see the particular details but yeah you can suss out um off the hardware alone that that's how it works you can make out some of the chips um and he's like oh 
This is radio transmitter. This is an encryption chip. This is a decryption chip. And, you know, that, that kind of thing um, it clues you up. Let's see. I'm going to see how long this will take you. It's not going to take you a great deal at all. Oh, crikey. Yeah, you can get that done in, like, three minutes. Not long at all. You could do that whilst you were walking. So, stealth roll, please. Ooh. Uh, I'll... I was going to say, before you start rolling... Uh oh I'll be in. Before Sorry. you start rolling, you'd... Stop, stop, stop. <laughs> <laughs> I'll have a group roll. Um, so whoever's got the best stealth have help from two people. And... Uh, yes, Ellie? My value is 20. Mm, I have 13. Mine's 13 as well. Yeah. Okay. Saskia! So, Saskia. <laughs> uh, right, Mara and Ellie, I think, have the best relationships with you, so yes. that'll be... I'll just I'll just say I'll reduce the difficulty by six to make the maths quick. Um, okay, all right. Okay. Where are you heading? Karaoke, I believe it was. <laughs> all right. Uh, yeah, there is a karaoke bar. Let me see if I've got something suitable for karaoke shenanigans in my music oh, no. list. I did not expect. I did not expect. Um, That's why we're here. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Do I have... Um, Just yeah, let's, let's, go, let's go for this. <laughs> so, so, yeah. The karaoke bar, they have a, um, they have a techno night on. This will do cool. for karaoke <laughs> music. Do. Yeah. Why would a karaoke bar have a techno? You can't. What, what am I supposed to do? <laughs> yeah, that's bait. No, 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 no. There's, there, there'll, there, there'll be there'll be lyrics, <laughs> but it, you know, sort of techno, happy, hardcore, that kind of thing. This is the this is the best sort of dramatic music <laughs> I've got for for that. So techno night it is. Um, and, um, yeah. How long are you spending there? Right, an hour? Yeah. Talk yeah! A couple of hours, an hour. Yeah. Okay. Can we get um, a private room, too? Not at the karaoke bar, you can't. You don't have, like, a karaoke bar with private rooms? No, no, this is just like a, you know, it's reasonably small, capacity like 30 people. Um... Lots. There's, there's a few that, few there that have had probably one too many and are jovially singing mm. along to high tempo tunes that they can't keep up with at all. Um, all right, y'all, you can't have... hack paper. And Ellie pulls out a piece um, of paper yeah. and starts writing. <laughs> I'm going to have... What's the best creative thing here I want? Uh, let's have a look. Um, roll me, everybody, your best social skill. We'll see how good you are at singing. Ooh. Oh, God. Does Mara nails count? it. Go on, then. Oh, dear. <laughs> Jackson's <laughs> almost passable. Mm. Ellie doesn't do the Navy brilliantly. Nice. Sas Saskia, voice of an angel by comparison. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's really hard trying to sing along to these songs because, you know, they're fast, high tempo, bassy as heck. Half the time, you know, when the bass really hits, it feels like the air's getting sucked out of your lungs. So, uh, I'm going to keep this music up, actually, because it's very good for then what I'm assuming are you going to then do the slumber party, quote unquote, and eject that bug. Well, yeah. Yes. Before we do, if we're if we're finished with the cards, ladies. To be. To we can, be uh, if we we have no longer no longer any need for it, and we've tortured these poor people enough. <laughs> yeah. So, are you going to crush the thing, or are you going to tune it into Hutton Orbital and space it? Well, I'm going to crush the thing. <laughs> I would like to radio in space. Because they've already been fed an hour of awful karaoke. <laughs> okay, this is for you as a group to decide, and again, anything that you say will be recorded by that bug. Not for long. <laughs> mm. So, describe to me what goes on. 
Um. Uh, well, uh, crushing, crushing stuff in the bass of the music is uh, good, but the bass really gotta travel. It gotta go. It gotta flow. You can't. You can't just stop the music. These crunchy tunes are a little too harsh. Where's all the smooth, spacey stuff going? Yeah, this is not. This is not it's not very classy, is it? And you know what? Techno, if it is something, it is classy. Fire is being very quiet. Mm. Figured. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if there's a way of having both a smooth and spacey tune with a crushy undertone first. Perhaps other instrumentations needed for that, though. Yes, it sounds like a very special instrument. Hmm. So, I may, I don't know, I may have just the thing. Techno can get really hot. Hmm. Mm, certainly can. Yeah, it gets, it gets hot in the discos. Did you just say disco? Uh -uh. That's all we had in the Navy. Claire, you're not that <laughs> much older than me. Are you? You are 90 years old. No, I just look 90. <laughs> Mara okay. goes back to her drink. <laughs> <laughs> For the sake right, of expediency and keeping the momentum of the evening going, sure, I guess we can keep with the crunch to start with, but, um, you know, something more elaborate later on, maybe. Hmm, yes, indeed. It crumples in uh, Jackson's fist. Oops. Ah, oh, man, that I wanted to send it the to the sun. Well, I wanted the to send it right I, to the sun. I have figured out the, the route in which it was reporting back. Now, we don't need to use that same card to do that, but we should set up something which doesn't lead back to us unless we do. Long story short, we can keep on torturing them, just not with that card. I like your thinking. I do too, and you have my full assistance. Can I just say, now that that thing is gone, what was with the good cop, bad cop routine? <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't. Why do you call me out like this? <laughs> <laughs> no shade. <laughs> I don't know, but I do know one thing that man for the other Johnson. Which, Jackson and Johnson, why would you do that to two people? Anyways, um, he was lying through his teeth. I'm not man has nothing to do with pirates. Here's the thing. If, if they are the, the federal investigators and with whatever resources, yet they need to come and bother us relative nobodies and our investigation they must be blocked by something as well there is something even above them or evading them this is getting scarier by the day we need more money it's the alien. i want oh my gosh hold on i want i want a credit to us so that way this is something else i was thinking too they know all of our ships right we need to purchase another ship under, we need to sell Jackson's ship. Sorry, Jackson. <laughs> and then, and then we need to purchase another ship under Tim's name, because I don't know if they know that we know Tim and then be like, oh, we're Tim. We purchase it under his name. And that's where we go do the sleepover. Give me an insight check, please, Ellie. Okay. I will DM you the result. Oh, I am spitting whole karma points. Oh. No, absolutely not. Oh, no. Okay. <laughs> oh, actually, uh, do you want to do your karma ability again on that? As a GM Oh, liar, liar? Mm -hmm. Yeah, Um. so that would be Thought plus the seven plus four is 11. Yeah. So I will, I was at seven karma points, so I'll go down to four. OK. 
Okay. Uh, RP amongst yourselves for a second and turn this out for Ellie. I'm drinking a lot. <laughs> so what do you reckon? <laughs> Could it be a tenor um, in a different life? Yes. Absolutely. I... <laughs> I'll be your backing vocalist. <laughs> You've got a deal. Excellent. Um. Um. Uh, um. I put my hand over Mara's drink to like to kind of look like I'm like holding her hand, trying to comfort her, and I'll be like, maybe you might want to be a uh, a little more aware of how much I'm drinking. Yeah. Just to be on the safe side. Okay. Ellie, I'll make sure I've got an IV drip set up for the morning. For Mara. You can do that? It's not the morning I'm worried about right now. Hmm. Well, what's, you drink? yeah. what's you drinking? Whatever's cheapest. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> um, this is cheap beer. Oh, this stuff? Ugh. Don't need to worry about this stuff. We had so much of this stuff during the Navy. Oh man, this is this is this is so weak. It barely even qualifies as beer. I mean, I'm open to having another drink bought for me instead. Hmm. Well, if you want, if you're talking a proper drink, a proper drink, a proper drink, right? Uh, in that case, um, I have been recommended the Centauri Mega Gin. Oh! If you dare, I dare. Done. <laughs> Bomb. Ellie, if if they're doing that, Ellie, let us two keep our eyes out at least. That makes sense. That makes sense. Mm. <laughs> I abandoned so, yeah. my beer. Yeah, mm. the um, the beer is cheap. It's like cheap enough. It's pocket change cheap. I'm not even gonna bother bother you all with with deducting it from your credit balances. Uh, the gin is more expensive. It's about a credit um, per. Uh, dose quote unquote so it comes it comes with like um a tonic it's not actually that strong in terms of alcohol content you know minimum legal requirement for gin but my god the it, it's like getting hit with aniseed but gin <laughs> <laughs> it's a very intense flavor and it clears your sinuses instantly mm. oh that stings that's oh, what that really I call stings. a drink Whew. my eyes are watering mm -hmm. that's how you know it's good mm -mm. Oh, I like it mm. yes it's expensive but wow good for special occasions Definitely better than that beer. <laughs> oh yeah. Um, yes, we, so, we don't want to be we don't want to be dealing with that horse piss. <laughs> <laughs> um, hmm. So yeah, um, to give to to let you all in on the the info I've shared with Ellie now, the um, the two um, the two federal agents. According to Ellie's intuition, are probably clutching at straws a bit. And that's the reason why they're bothering you, bothering with you. Um, it's obvious, especially to Ellie, it's obvious to, to her that um, Leonard isn't a pirate. They're after him for other reasons, but she can't discern what. Uh, they, are, they are trying with the intimidation shtick. They probably got your details from flight logs. Honestly, uh, it's unlikely that they've got detailed files on you because you're relative nobodies. This is the first time you've, any of you have been to this system, and it's certainly the first time many of you have ever been to federal space. They, uh, 
I'm pretty sure nobody's too keen on talking to any authorities. I mean, that's typically how it is. Um, so I think we got a lean on them. However, I do think that they will probably follow us. So it might be good if we just maybe pull our resources of what we got from selling the platinum and maybe buy a new ship under the name of uh what is it ellie jackson mara saskia um i can't I've just have a anything. thought actually ellie this is a thing you'd know mm. you can change the id numbers of your ships that is a thing you're able to do doesn't cost much either we're changing all of our ships ID numbers right now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> you can is also rename the ships as well. Renaming a ship is easy peasy. Uh, the paperwork for it is a piece of cake. Pilots Federation handle that um, rather than local control systems. Can we message... And the, Pilots, um... and the Pilots Federation are not keen on sharing that info unless it's being broadcast on a, you know, a, a ship identification signal thing. They've right. got actual names, I can't remember what it is, but when you when you target a ship and sensors and you get, like, commander name, ship name, ship ID, that, whatever that is. Um, can we, can, uh, can I, can I message the guy who gave us, the commander that gave us the job and no. say, no? Because okay. they are in a different star system. My suggestion here, everyone, is that we indeed, we do change our ship names and registrations. We all go off in different directions for a jump, and then converge at another system to park our ships, and then go as a group to Sol. So in a roundabout we way... We can take the bus! Now, if we take the bus, I am worried if they're attacked by pirates again, that they're not going to be great at defending us. I don't want to sit there without any um, agency over my own safety, but um, it big is guns. an option. Don't want to sit there without big guns. Mm. I've that. seen what pirates do. I've seen what they can do. Cool. Yeah, I think okay. all of us have seen what they can oh, do. Oh, no, no, Karen, Karen. I thought you were finished, sorry. <laughs> right, um... Yeah, so you all can go and get your ship's names and IDs changed. Easy peasy. Um, pop those on your character sheet. You can basically pick whatever the heck you like, as long as it's not already chosen by someone else. And um, I'm not going to worry too much about the details for which systems you go to nearby. There's, you know, you're in the core systems. There's plenty of places you can jump to. Um, will you be teaming up with Saskia and hopping into Saskia's vessel and then hopping into Sol that way using Jackson's clearance? That has my vote after we've uh, done our best to shed the tail. Yeah. But, but it's up to everyone else, of course. Yeah. I would be in agreement with that. Cool. As a GM yeah. tip, you could buy a new ship, but that is excessive. Mm. I mean, new ships are great ships, and we do need to get rid of Jackson's horrible <laughs> ship. <laughs> yeah, I was um, just thinking we could kill two birds with one stone, as I it mean, were. Jackson's ship, if it was upgraded a bit, is actually surprisingly potent. He's just got the dreadful model unfortunately yeah. <laughs> i got the one that was stripped and had all the all the yeah. rubbish bits in the yard put on it yeah pretty much yeah um so yeah again up to you um you don't have to but you could um yeah i think that would be good um i do want to if we're going to be interested in our lives to uh, one ship here i do want to change a few yeah. We could buy so you'd, a few yeah, things. it would have to. Yeah, either you would get yourself another adder, or you would use Saskia's vessel. Yeah. Um, I think Ellie would just want to like transfer some parts that would be that that are better in her ship over to Saskia's ship, 
and then vice okay. versa. So yeah, we can just uh, load yeah, up Saskia's can, ship you, because I'm yeah, super Will paranoid. you be doing that before or after you leave Hutton? You can do that after. at any stage. Okay. After. So, so, so Ellie's going to jump in a different direction and then all right. converge and then do um, all that after. Yeah. So where's... Oh, so we could go to a different I, system park there. Yeah. I don't have a map open because my laptop crashed. Um, what I do normally is I have Elite running on my other machine and I remote desktop into it. But it's being a butt not working, so I don't have a galaxy map, so I'm just going to have to grab a list of stars near Sol real quick. Just to see a suitable uh, a suitable location where you all can meet up. Um, now, we shall assume that you all go ahead and jump out of uh, Hutton Orbital. I do this in time. Soon see. Oh, don't be a butt. Come on. Ah, oh, you're a pain in the ass. Okay, and. I was going to say yes. Barnard's star will be quite close. Yeah. Cool. Uh, Mela Depot or a Boston base, one of the two. Yeah, okay, that sounds, that sounds perfect. So, mm. yeah, you all disappear off, reconverge into, uh, into Barnard's star. And which which one are you talking at? Up to you. Whichever one's asking once. Boston base, yeah. maybe? It's your yep. Boston base. Is that a starport yeah, or a surface base? Uh, it should be a big station in orbit. Okay, uh, Coriolis or whatever. Right. I forget Ooh, exactly not... what it is in D. Oh, it, than... yeah, no, no worries. Just, just a large station. That's the important. That's the important one. Um, nice. So you all meet at um, at Boston Base in Barnard Star. Um, after a few jumps. Mm -hmm. Did we get? How did everything go for everyone? Yeah, can we roll to see if we got followed? Ooh, oh, yeah. yeah. Give me a systems yeah, roll. Could, yeah, did we spot anyone yeah. following? All right, systems each, please. Okay. System, system, system. Ooh, hang on, mm -hmm. where's it gone? Systems. Wow. My goodness. Yeah, you were absolutely... Any tail that you thought you might have had, um, you lost after the first jump. Uh, so you jumped in. If you saw something a bit suspicious, you were like, mm. next jump, didn't follow. Right. You are I'm clear. very confident that you are not being tailed actively. Amazing. Okay. Mm -hmm. I just want to see these loadouts real quick and then we sure. can... Uh... Yeah. So, um, you're going to do do a bit of swapsies with the vessels that you have. Um, and yeah, first we most... got to change that lab support. We will run out of oxygen. The four of us were only five minutes. <laughs> and no, we got to We got to yeah. bump that up. We here. It, and then uh, Ellie takes out her life support thing and starts putting it in the adder. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. You are you you you, you will need assistance to do that, but the dock workers here are more than happy to provide that service. It's part of what they do. Um, mm. And um, not even with, like, uh, insight or anything, you get the full impression, yeah, they're legit. There's, there's no secret. Hello, how do you do, fellow pirates? Uh, fe fellow pirates, sorry. Fellow pilots um, amongst them. Ooh, trying giving to... me a heart attack here. <laughs> yeah, no, sorry, sorry. Um, yeah, how, how do you do, fellow pilots? You know, kind of bad undercover cops or anything. Um, now, uh, Ellie, um, now I do only have about 0.86 uh, megawatts to play with here with this power plant. Uh, can I take this? Uh, can it take it? Which grade are we um, on Well, let's see. What power plant you got going on? Um, okay. Power distributor. Oh. Where's the planet? Okay. Let's... Um, 
Oh, no. Now that we've shaken the tail, swap the music out. Ooh, that's a bit loud. Emergency left power distributor. Wait, uh, let's see power. Okay. Thing that you have. So yeah, talk us through, by the way, uh, Saskia Ellie, the particular stats on the modules that you're swapping around whilst you're doing so this, please. I've currently got an, a 3E power plant. It's giving me 8 megawatts, which I've mostly used with all of my bits. Uh, my life support is e. 1E at the moment, 1E life support, and that uses 0.32. Uh, what were you suggesting we put in? Oh, I was uh, suggesting for the life support we put in the... Um, I got a, a 1D. It's a, a 1B. A 1D. Or wow. no, 1B. No, 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 you're right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I got one, one, one Bravo, yeah. Crikey, one you've Bravo. really upgraded this thing. Goodness. I mean, yes. Wow. You gotta have <sighs> oxygen in order to live. Um, yeah. It takes 0.44, but you know what? We can use... Yo... Let's talk so, as a group. Are we okay with getting a new power plant for Saskia's ship, but we would have to pull our resources to get there? Now, if um, if it's only a 0. 0.44, I do have enough left over to run it. The the one he takes 0. 0.32, so the numbers add up. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Well, are they the same um, life support? Are they both class ones? That's important. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Cool. Yeah, that's fine then. Um. I was thinking to you, uh, let me see, I got uh, two C thrusters. So we might have to, I don't know, I'm feeling particularly paranoid. Um, and I don't want to entrust our lives in a, you know, like we want to put, put our best foot forward as it were. Mm -hmm. But I'm okay with being outvoted here. It's up to you, Mara and Jackson. Fine with it. I think it's important that we don't attract unnecessary attention and that if we do, that we aren't in bigger trouble than we need to be. Yeah, mm. agreed. Okay. The downside to this adder, as seen in our recent battle, is it's not too maneuverable. Uh, the thrusters could maybe do with an upgrade. I can't what three. class thrusters do you have at the moment? Uh, 3E currently. Ooh. I have oh. 3D. I could swap out for now. As long as I get them back. <laughs> yeah, because I think you all's thrusters are bigger, unless we sell yours um, here and then just swap do, them out. Do remember, you will get some money back from selling the module that you're already equipped with. Um, although it's uh, Class E modules, for those of you who are uh, watching who don't know Elite terribly well, um, all spaceships have a certain power capacity dictated by the power plant, and the certain components need to be a particular size in order to move the ship, provide enough oxygen, uh, provide enough sensor coverage, that kind of thing. The, um, the modules usually come in five different grades, E to A, and um, in the Elite Dangerous RPG, uh, generally speaking, E's are cheap and low power, but not dreadfully capable. A's are expensive, supremely capable, more power hungry and more expensive to fix. Um, and the D, C and uh, B between them uh, offer intermediate steps. Um, so what the group are doing at the moment is they are parked all in the same station and because these ships are modular they're taking all the best bits off each of their ships and sticking it in Saskia's adder to make it as good as possible. Um, Mara, what's your power plan look like? Uh, I have a 2D. Okay, she got three E. Okay, we can sell a three E and at least go up to a D for you, um, Saskia. Um, and I can front the cost on that. Um, and then we can maybe do the same thing with the thrusters as well. Or unless my right, I mean, we could just transfer them over from our. I don't mind yeah, swapping you could, them. You could, nice. Yeah, you could swap the thrusters around. That's an easy task and it doesn't cost anything. Okay. Um. We could get, 
a different um let me see shield generator 3e oh okay um, yeah your power distributor on that vessel is bigger than the power distributor on the uh uh on the sidewinder unfortunately i don't know if it's the same on the eagle the eagle has uh a no. 2d Ah, it's a class two. Okay. Their, so yeah, their you, power you, distributor you, was a two, right? I thought is it, it was no, a two. I think their, it's a three. Their, their power plant is a three. Their oh, no, power no, distributor sorry, yeah, yeah. The is distro a is a two. The distro is a two. So, so, so what I can transfer. Um, you're you're only a class one, Ellie. Uh, yeah, I can transfer distro. mine over. Uh, was yours a two, uh, yeah, Saskia? The power distributor. Yes. Is a two e. Yeah. yeah, you can have my two d then as well because it gives a floating bonus. Mm. That is just nice. Kind. Yeah. Hey, Jackson, do you have any good modules at all on your ship? Duct tape. No. <laughs> duct tape. The duct tape the duct tape's <laughs> the best thing about it. Oh. Hey, <laughs> I've got an idea, actually. Why don't you steal one of the um, one of the lasers off Jackson's vessel and stick it in uh, the third yeah, slot? Yeah, yeah. Two, two small fixed pulse lasers. Yeah. Mm. Oh, no, you've already, got, you've already got three lasers on your vessel, haven't you? Mm. Okay. But yeah, you can have my multi-cannon if you want, temporarily. Ooh. Ah. I do have a medium <laughs> slot for the hard points, and I could put in a medium laser there. Oh, that's fair. I need to spend for it. Yeah. If you want my um, multi-cannon, I have a small fixed multi-cannon. Yeah. The multi-cannon, if it hits, is vicious. <laughs> um, if it hits. <laughs> burst and yeah, burst and beam lasers also give you the burst damage bonus as well if you hit well with them. Um, so how damage works in space in um, the Elite Dangerous RPG? It's less um, outright damage. You get a full damage, but with burst weapons, multi-cannon burst lasers and beam lasers, you get extra damage if you hit well with them. Uh, fixed weapons in the Elite Dangerous RPG are not as difficult to aim as they are in actual game. So um, fixed multi, multi cannon is feasible as a as a as a weapon in the Elite Dangerous RPG, uh, much more so than it is in game. Uh, but it only gets a plus two bonus to hit. If it was gimbaled, it would get a plus five, but then it's vulnerable to chaff. Um, Question. Yeah. Or, um, the utility mount slot can we play my 1c sensor over there i get like a plus one to dog fighting and no. a plus one the to sensors initiative. go in the sensor slot uh utility mm -hmm. mounts is external equipment uh, okay okay okay, okay, okay. yep yeah, yep yeah. so chaff um electronic countermeasures point defense that kind of thing yeah so i was just okay. looking at the sensors and uh well, I do have a plus one general scan. It's not very good for combat and fighting and whatnot. Hmm. Get some tsunami going on. Yeah, let's just... Oh, let's pull no. all of our platinum money together and then just go ham. And then we should be there good, we go. right? Because we could get sensors... We don't have, we need better sensors and we need a, what was the other thing we wanted to get better of? That so, we don't. gun, thrusters. Yeah. We got the yeah. thrusters from Mara. Were yep. they a different got... size? Did they fat? No, they're, they're, they, were, they are the same size thrusters and the distributor as well is the same size for both of your vessels. Um, Ellie's in a sidewinder, so her ship's tiny. Um, Jackson's um, crate is about the same size as the sidey, but um, trades flexibility for combat effectiveness. Um, the crate Mark One is a, a fairly small vessel. It's basically the the pre sidewinder, as it were. Okay. Um, it has much better weapons capacity but isn't as maneuverable and is considerably less flexible on its internals. It has much less space inside because it's got two chonky big weapons um, fixtures. Jackson's, though, um, because it's cheap and he got stung for it uh, from the used ship salesman, um, the uh, it only has class one lasers on there at the moment. Oh, pardon me. 
Now I get Hope. most of. Now what I say is is the best and most important thing to have is you gotta have an efficient power distributor because if you don't get an efficient power distributor, you know, like you're you're just gonna be wasting um, mm-hmm. energy in your machine, and so yep. um, and so. So from the 2E, let's see, we got the 2D, which gives us uh, just a little bit, you know, you can kind of like- Gives you that extra floating, floating bonus, yeah. Yeah, 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 you can kind of move that around. Now, if we mm-hmm. went up just to the to the um, 2B here, if we could purchase that, we would get, we'll get agility, hit, yeah, let and, me, and, and some shield. Let me check, that's available in this starboard. Um, it might not be. Right, you are in Boston base. Boston got everything. We got half stuff. <laughs> Boston's cool. Barnard Star. Let's check the outfitting. Um, what are you looking for again? Sorry, it was a distro, wasn't it? A hey, yeah, power distributor. They do not. They well, only means. have, yeah. They only have class uh, size four, five, and six available, unfortunately. Uh, which individually are bigger than all of your ships. Just that one component. Okay. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. And then, do they have a better sensors? Um. What what size sensors are you looking for? Three. Size three. Let's take a look. Ooh, shimshers. Oh. Oh. Not. They don't even have okay. any sensors available. They do have class two and class three thrusters, but you've already got the three Ds there as well. If um if you are happy with Alright, well I guess this is our loadout. Yep. Uh, okay. Yeah. yeah so could you? Generator might be a question there. It might be slightly over once I run the numbers. Yeah. Do we, Do we have so... uh, size three generators in the station, just in case? Ooh. Look. They do. They have a three D B. Uh, uh, sorry, D C B and A. I can donate um, a three D. Ooh. There you go. I would do it. Yeah. Lovely. And that, that doesn't cost you anything. Again, as long as I get them back afterwards. <laughs> <laughs> and what I will do too is I'm just going to reattach everything on each ship so that way, just in case we have to fly them as is right now, we can. So that yep. way we're not up a creek yeah, no, without a when, paddle. When, yeah, these, these things are modular, so swapping them out once you, once you take off the hatches, get the crane, you know, shift it out, it's fairly easy to um, fit it back into the other vessel. They're, they're, um, the mountings are very similar, the wiring looms are um, similar enough that usually you can just patch them in. Um, Jackson's ship is a bit of an antique, it's not quite as standardized, but there's nothing, you know, a few um, adapters won't fix. So for, for, you know, for all intents and purposes, um, you can swap modules between yourselves at a suitable starport like this with no, no issue, as long as you record it on your character sheet. Um, and I'm going to chuck this on Miro as well, so we have a USB, yes. Um, we have a record of what we've taken from what. So the engines, um, the distro, um, it's a 3D Life distro, support. isn't it? Uh, Life support. Yes. It's, oh, sorry, it's Life 2D su- distro. Oh, 2D distro. Uh, and 3D what's the Life shields. Support? Three, oh, 3D shields. Nice. 3D life support as well, yeah? No, it's a uh, life support's one. Both of them oh, are one. Okay. Just mine's one um, A. Right. Oh, yours is one A. Right, so that's comes from Ellie. Mine ship. is either the best or the second best I can get. Um. No, it's one B. A oh, one B. Yeah. Okay. So cool. Um. Yeah. In terms of weaponry, are you swapping out the multi cannon or staying with the lasers? Up to you. Uh, 
we're probably swapping out so there's a good distribution. Uh, what was the shields, by the way? Someone mentioned shields. Uh, yeah, 3D, they're um, 75 shield power, strength 30. Nice. Um, oh, yes, and, and the um, with the shield values, the values on the ship profiles are correct. Add 10 to the shield values in the table. Um, that's the one that's wrong. Because there's an error in the book. <laughs> oh, right, right, right. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. I am... Um, because, uh, Saskia, you asked me that, um, before we started. Uh, and that was the reply, so I was just letting everyone, everyone else know. Um, okay, so, um... You're swapping that multi cannon over, yeah? Yeah. Uh, okay, yeah, cool. So multi cannon over into one of these small slots. Yeah, that's fine. And let's see. Do we, six, three. Do we want to put a medium weapon in my medium slot? Up to you. Uh, do they have medium-sized weapons to buy at this station? Oh, let's have a look. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, they have a medium seeker missile rack or a railgun. That's it, uh, and that's a class one railgun. <laughs> Ooh, I don't think I'll be able to yeah. afford that, sadly. So I yeah. guess we're still the... on smalls. Yeah. This is this the, the outfitting here is dreadful. Not gonna lie. <laughs> this is a rubbish station for outfitting your ship. So that was a it really small, is. Um, mm. So well um, multi cannon was it? Yeah. That's your uh, class one. So, the person, whilst most everyone does the mathematic for, for all of these, Jackson, you're going to be the person piloting this to Sol. Okay. Um, so, whilst um, K, Taco, and Psyche get the ship loadout sorted, we can we can do the actual piloting stuff now. Um, skipping ahead slightly, once once the ship is done and ready, um, the the vessel has um, crew quarters for two and two pilot seats. It's going to be a bit cramped, uh, quote unquote. There's plenty of space inside the ship to move around and, and stuff, but um, long distance trips aren't going to be a thing with four of you in it. But it can safely transport all four of you to Sol. A-OK, -okay, that's not a problem. Mm -hmm. And, um... How... How are you going about getting to Sol? Mm -hmm. Now, when when you're the registered pilot on that vessel, your license has the permit for Sol. Because you yep. are a... Uh, ooh, I can't remember if you were a petty officer or a chief petty officer. Uh... I, I think you were a chief. Uh, chief petty officer, yeah. Yes, yeah, chief petty officer. You have the... Uh, the privilege of being able to fly into the capital of, of the Federation, mm. uh, capital system, I should say, uh, and the birthplace of humanity. Um, oh, where's... Oh, no, I've got that. I'm the... <laughs> now. Yes, um... Somewhere about, I've got a FSD noise, so we'll just have to, we'll just have to zoom in without the FSD. I'll let, I'll let you, let you all imagine it. I don't know where that's disappeared to. It's, um, <laughs> that's really annoying. Oh well. So yeah, um, so yeah, yeah. So it's all like a you know, it's a by the book approach. Um. Mm. So um, 
Uh, as he as he would have been trained in the navy, so yeah, totally by the book. No, no funny business. Um, yeah. St- yeah. Stick to the lanes. Everything. Yeah. Sol Sol is a really busy star system, as you could probably yeah. well imagine. There is a lot of lot of traffic going in and out. An adder, piloted by an ex navy veteran, is basically just lost in the. Uh, in in the comings and goings, getting into Sol, easy peasy. There's there's no issue whatsoever there. Um, how is how is Saskia's ship to fly? Um, Saskia, how do you how do you keep the vessel? Sorry, say again. Oh, um, how 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 well kept is your ship? How how nice is it to oh. fly? It is uh, as well kept as I can make it. So um, all of the bays, all of the compartments, all are neat, tidy. Everything's where it should be. Mm. All cupboards and doors and everything is stowed. Everything is nice and clean. Yeah. How does that compare, Jackson, to... Mm. Um, It probably looks quite luxurious by comparison. Uh, to, <laughs> to the, to getting, the old crate. yeah, getting 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 um, navy flashbacks. Um, I think um, it, I from... think it's probably like going from a like a a tatty caterum to um, uh, to like a uh, to an Audi, you know that Ooh, kind nice. of nice, yeah, that yeah, kind yeah. of step. <laughs> yeah. So um, um, so maybe not quite as twitchy. Yeah, but uh, you know, much smoother and more comfortable. Nice. You'll um, notice also various things are labelled as if with a label gun about what should go in each cupboard. <laughs> and what each section should be. For. Oh, beautiful! I this this pleases my sense of order. Um, <laughs> now, uh... it's just so wonderful seeing a nap ship. Somebody loves. <laughs> I'm yeah. just gonna go give your engine a quick pat. Make sure to sing yeah. to it. Oh yes. Oh yeah. Where are you heading in Seoul? Um, there are a lot of options. Mm, um, there are a lot of options. Um, yeah. I'm gonna load. Hey. I'm gonna load that up. So. Okay, I'll give you I'll give you the the synopsis of orbital stations. If you want to go to a station on the planet, I'll skip all of those for the moment. You've got Abraham Lincoln, Bernal Station, Columbus, Daedalus, Galileo, Quijing, Zhao, M. Gorbachev, Mars High, and Titan City. Um. Um. Did we know where he was going? It just said Sol. Uh, it did just say Sol. Hmm. If I remember right, the capital is now on Mars. Yes. So uh, Mars, Mars High. Mars, yeah, Mars is is terraformed. Yeah. Um, in thirty three oh three, Voyager two. <laughs> <laughs> no. No. I mean, no, 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 could, no. But I don't. Th- I don't think. Just as a GM tip, you're not going to find him at Voyager two. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, you can you can fly it to Voyager too if you uh, if you want to go see the sites. But in terms of like quest, um, yeah, Mars High Mars High works. Um, oh, that's annoying. It gives me the list in alphabetical order and not planetary order. Okay, fine. EDSM it is. <laughs> mm-hmm. So yeah, um, Mars High. Will you be... Saskia, did you keep the docking computer on? I did not touch it. It is still going. Okay, okay. Jackson, okay. will you be using the docking computer? Um... Answer carefully. <laughs> I, think, <laughs> I, I, I think Saskia to... is 100% in the co-pilot seat. Yeah. Um, this time not. Because the flight controllers get a bit bolshy with using docking computers. So, um, okay. and it's about time we took the training wheels off. <laughs> In right. someone else's ship. <laughs> In someone else's ship. Else's you see ship. Ellie pop over your shoulder and be like, I swear, God, if this, if you crash us and we all die, I will haunt you in the afterlife. 
<laughs> and the only reason I was using the docking computer in the crate is because I didn't know whether it was going to break down or not. And computers <laughs> we have don't have you explosives on board. Okay. Say again, sorry, Mara. Oh, at least we don't have explosives on board this time. Well, that's yeah, true. You're, you're, yeah, your hold is currently empty. Um, which makes sense given the hasty exit from, from Hutton. Uh, but, yeah, I'll have a DC4 pilot check mm -hmm. from you, please. Pilot check. Yep. Oh, hello, Roll20. Are you going to update for us? That would be real nice of you. There we go. Okay. Nice. Oh, your piloting skill is four. So you couldn't mm. have failed that unless Could you not failed one. Yeah, unless you rolled a one. Yes. And even then, the failure wouldn't have been too too onerous. Uh, you're, asking, you're saying that about the person who's rolled many ones. That, yes. that is also true. <laughs> but equally, it also means you're not acquiring the ire of Saskia. <laughs> yes. Um, yeah, it, you know, it, it's it's textbook-ish. I imagine you probably have to dodge out of the way of a, of a larger vessel coming out, a, a Type yeah. 9 or a Type yeah. 7 or something. Take it, take it in. Deliberately, slowly, and carefully. Yeah. Uh, what's the What's the new ID number of your ship, please, Saskia? Uh, the new name is Robin Reliant. The ID will be R Romeo Brava Romeo uh, One One One. Romeo Bravo, Romeo 111, you are clear for approach. Please keep your velocity under 100 meters per second. Pleasure to have you, Chief Petty Officer. It's uh, nice to see a veteran. Roger, uh, control. Flight control out. You're on pad. Nice to be back oh, at home. Stand, stand by. Our RBR, triple one. Uh, pads are full. All right, you're on pad 03. 03, Roger that. And uh, yeah, flight control uh, polite. Awesome. You guys think yeah. that they they have cats on this station? I'm gonna well, see I'd cat like again. that. <laughs> I miss my cat. No. Well, um, this uh, system is the birthplace of all cat kind, so I imagine so. Hmm. Oh, you can get coffee too. Coffee, barbecue, cats. Oh, more Don't barbecue the cats. <laughs> and Don't if uh, I know my Federation stations, about three million adverts per square mile. Mm. There are a lot of holographic adverts happening right now. Um, and what I just and... learned is that not all media is telling the truth to me. Good job. <laughs> that is correct. Are you? So I should are you not currently buy. just held on to the deck with your mag boots, Ellie? Yeah. All right. I'm gonna need a roll from you to see if you go skywards or not during landing. Okay. So, um. <laughs> What's my roll? So, uh, let me check real quick. Uh. I've been doing Pilates this whole time. I'll let you roll either dodge or athletics, I think. Just as a, like, a balance thing. Because like, there isn't really, like, a balance skill. Now... Well, I, I guess I'm going to go with dodge. Oh, nailed nice. it. Nice. You for sure disconnect um, from the from the floor on, on um, you know, the, the, the landing down when the... Uh, when the ship starts descending towards the pad, you get the upwards acceleration, and your mag boots just go Poof. But you just stick to the ceiling. You know, you manage to twist it around and plonk yourself up. So you're upside down on landing. This happens all the, the time. <laughs> it happens all the time. <laughs> you okay up there? Yeah, I feel like a spider. <laughs> Okay, you find yourselves now at Mars High, um, a very, very posh station in the Sol system, orbiting Mars, the capital of the Federation. Um, 
And yeah, you've managed to successfully sneak in. I think that's where we'll end it for today, actually. Um, I've noted the time. I don't want to keep you all too late. Um, so, congrats. You managed to... Um, oops. There we go. Why does it do this? My, my, scene, my scene transitions should fade, not just go, suddenly portraits. Let's try, <laughs> that, let's try that again. There we go. Now it works. Um... Yes, congratulations, everybody. You have mm -hmm. made another step on the hunt for Leonard Armager, avoiding hey. some rude feds along the way, <laughs> and successfully delivering your explosives. Hooray! Um, now then. Yay, um, we didn't explode. Yeah, congrats. So, uh, you will get three... Um, rank up points this session. You did How many really were we well. on? No, sorry, four. You four. did really well this session. We were at five. So okay. it's nine, so we rank up. Yeah. Mm. Yay. Yes. Mostly Congratulations, <laughs> Congratulations, pilots. You've managed to get to mostly harmless before Yay. acquiring your licenses. It's pretty yeah. good. Yeah. No, you, you, you guys absolutely nailed it with the rolls today. Mm, um, that was good. Yeah. So, um, Martian barbecue beckons. <laughs> Yay! Hell yeah, it does. Yeah. Um, now, there's other things I need to do here, and I can't remember what they were. Relationships? That's a thing I need to do. There was something else. I can't remember what the heck it was, though. Oh, well, I'll, I'll message it to you afterwards um, when I remember. So, yes, congratulations. Um, welcome to the birthplace of humanity. Let's go around the room, do our outros, relationships, um, and, uh, and, and bits. So we'll start with Jackson. Mm. So, hey, right, everybody, I'm Brother Sabathius. I've been playing uh, Jackson West tonight, uh, our um, ex Navy uh, cyborg. Uh, you can usually find me on uh, Twitch TV. And brother underscore Sabathius, where I'm either playing League Dangerous or Sea of Thieves, um, various other stuff, doing costume stuff, building Lego. Um, so if you do want to drop in, you'll be most welcome. Um, relationships, uh, let me see. Um, I would go plus, plus one mm -hmm. uh, to Ellie uh, for her her help with uh, finally getting the um, this wreck of a ship in order. Nice. Oh, congratulations. Uh, congratulations, Ellie. You are appreciated. There we go. Um, yeah, I think that's I think that's everything. I'm sure there's something important I'm forgetting and it's bugging me. But uh, yes, thank you very much, Brother Sabathius. Go check out Brother Sabathius, everyone. Very really entertaining thoroughly entertaining streamer and excellent human all round. Um, Dr. K. Ross. Hello. Yes, uh, my name is Kane. I've been playing Saskia Turun for you tonight, the um, doctor stroke now space adventurer, it seems. So at least that's what she'd mm. like to be. And uh, yes, you can find me on Twitch TV slash Dr. K. Ross, where I do a variety of things, retro games, modern ones, often a lot of co-op, sometimes charity things, sometimes even art streams, which I finally got to again yesterday. We, we started a new canvas, everyone. We started a canvas for doing it. Ooh, excellent. Yay. But yes, it's my absolute pleasure to be here with everyone. Uh, in terms of relationships, my plus one this week also goes to Ellie, both Ooh. for the handling of uh, the surreptitious nature of what we had to do with the agents and the card and the karaoke and thinking on feet, but also <laughs> the wrangling of everyone's ships and pairing the adder of the current adventure. So very, very professional, very quick thinking, very mm. plus one. Mm. Outstanding. Thank you very much, uh, Dr. K. Ross. Psyche! Hello, I'm Psyche. Uh, I've been playing Mara Murphy this evening. Mara Pocket Rocket Murphy. 
uh, I stream Space Sandbox and Story Games four days a week at noon UK time on twitch.tv forward slash psyche. And this coming week, I will be venturing into the new Outer Wilds DLC, which is a really nice puzzly space exploration game. And I'm really looking forward to it because it was the first game was amazing. Um, and I will be starting some spooky shenanigans because apparently it's Halloween already. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, September's Halloween Eve. Yet, goodness. September's Halloween Eve, okay? And then Halloween starts on the 1st of October, which is next Friday. Yeah. So spooky stuff. <laughs> I'm very excited. Um, yes. And that's me. Awesome. Where does the uh, where does your relationship go to this week? Oh yes, uh, I'm going to give my plus one to Jackson this week for introducing Ooh. me to the spicy gin. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> oh, outstanding. Excellent. All right. For the sake of quickness, I'll just copy paste that. Boom. There's a lot of plus relationships going on here. This is great. This is great. Um, outstanding. Thank you very much, Psyche. Um, Go, go follow Psyche as well, everyone. Uh, and, of course, Dr. K. Ross. Um, and finally, Taco Trash Can. What up, I'm Taco. Um, I stream over at twitch.tv slash taco trash can, and I will be doing a um, daybreak slash commander. What is it, debriefing? What's the word I'm looking for? Round table? I don't no, it's not a round table because there ain't going to be nobody else oh, yeah. with me. Uh, sort of chatting thing, I guess. Discussion. Yeah. I'll be talking about Daybreak and all that other jazz next Monday. Yeah, not ta this a ta a tabletop, one, yeah tabletop RPG chat fest. Talk. I don't know. Anyways, come join me. Throw throw your theories at me. I will or will not answer those questions. I won't answer any questions about either one of my characters, but you can come by and you can see my face. Um, so yeah, so come on by. It will be a fun time. Um, and then my plus one is also going to go to Jackson. Um, um, you know, I think I think Ellie is like, you know, like, like, you know, like he in a lot of ways, I think reminds her a bit of like her like military dad, but also to like she realizes that like she got some mad at him and his shit because she cares about him and his life and what happens to him. <laughs> so, and that's probably why she got so frustrated with him. So, and then, um, but then also too, he was, uh, he was really like kind and like trying to teach her how to like fight and defend herself and stuff like that too. So yeah. Spot on. Outstanding. Thank you very much, uh, Taco Trash Can. And I've been your games mastering guy today. I'm Astacon. You can find me at twitch.tv forward slash Astacon, Twitter, Astacon TM, uh, soundcloud.com slash Astacon, uh, where you can find some of the music I've written um, for the game. Uh, and I've got other profiles, but I can't... Oh yeah, I'm not, I'm not doing anything with them at the moment, so it doesn't matter too much about those. Um, I'm going to be back online um, this Wednesday for a fairly short stream before raiding into uh, Dark Tide Rising Water, our new Vassen show that will be starting this Wednesday, and I'm really hyped for it. Um, uh, this Saturday coming, I'll be also on Daybreak City Nights here at 7 on Saturday, and next Sunday I'll be back here again, uh, dragging uh, everyone through the even more shenanigans that I have planned for them, and um, of course, I need to add karaoke to my playlist now, just to be sure <laughs> that they're not going to and thrust that upon me again. <laughs> so yes, it's been excellent having everybody here. Go and follow these amazing people. They're all wonderful and spectacular. Thank you very much, everybody, for coming by. We're going to do a raid. So here's a raid text. Raid. Yes. And... Oh yeah, we've got two raid texts here, don't we? Uh, Sub-raid, isn't it? Because... Ah, thank you, Panda. Uh, thank you also, mods. Thank you, viewers. Thank you, cast. Of course, you've been amazing... Uh, to uh, to have, we're gonna go and raid uh, Dapper Dame, but not before I play everyone the trailer again, um, because it's great and fantastic. So here's the trailer for Vassen, and we will see you for Dark Tide Rising Water on Wednesday, and back here uh, for more Commander on Sunday and Saturday for Daybreak. 
So have a pleasant everyone, have an adventurous few days until our next show. Oscar 7 Commanders, and uh, fly safe. <laughs> <laughs>